No hope for Nigeria in 2023. The country is dead already, popular Islamic scholar reveals. Unless Buhari restructure the country now, unless the country, there is a real effort to make a change, the country is all gone. Don't forget that Tulushe Gwabasanjo has told us that very soon, the country called Nigeria will cease to exist. He said very, very soon. It won't be long. It will cease to exist. If those who are supposed to be rising up and doing the right thing fail to do it. Okay. One of such things was that Buhari lied to us during the manifesto that they were going to ensure they bring back, you know, they bring about, you know, reformation in our, in our system. Power, for instance, is centralized at the center. And we were saying decentralized power, so much so that, you know, people from the, you know, the, for instance, the police can have, police can have, a, police can have, a, 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 police can have power and states can begin to delegate rather than leaving everything to just one, you know, from the centra, which has not gone down well. And we can see it, how it has affect insecurity. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Thank you. No hope for Nigeria in 2023. Country is dead already. Popular Islamic scholar reveals. A popular Islamic scholar, Ibrahim Ebuolua, has declared that Nigeria is dead. The current administration, the president, refused to reform the country. He refused to do the right thing. Politics Nigeria reports that Ebuolua lamented that Nigerian politicians are creating problems that they cannot solve, and they keep creating more and more each single day. It is terrible that Nigeria has got no leaders. Leadership is terrible, and that's why the country is in this deep state of deprivation. Expressing his displeasure with the state of the nation at a lecture he delivered recently at a program organized by the Haifik Estayat Foundation, in Lagos State. He said, Nigeria is dead. May God help us receive what he has for us. He said it in his native language, Yoruba. If one travels out, you will see that Nigeria is lifeless because all the all these years has been they've been borrowing money. I have not seen anything tangible that has been executed with all the money being borrowed. The preacher added, 2023 is here. Our politicians will tell us another set of huge lies. There are challenges. There are challenges, but nobody's creating or doing anything about the challenges. They will tell us the solution to our problem. There is no hope for Nigeria in 2023. There is no hope unless the leaders are ready to be honest and ready to tackle the problem instead of lying to the masses and bringing no solution, giving false hope with election practices which they never fulfill and keep deceiving the people. If nothing is done to change the current predicament, I wonder what will even happen with the very cold election around the corner. So when you look at it, everybody can tell you sincerely that there is something wrong. Even the blind can see that something is seriously wrong in this nation. This is an Islamic scholar who is looking at everything and is saying, you know what, we can't continue like this. Islamic scholar says, no, we can't continue like this. Buhari's administration, you know, has not, has not allowed this nation to move forward properly. Buhari's administration has deprived this nation from anything called growth. He continued to borrow money. He continued to do all these things. And yet, there is nothing tangible you can see to it. There is nothing particular, you know, that can save the cost of what is currently on ground. This man's whole, you know, whole move and everything has allowed Nigeria to be in a very deprivative state. He borrows money, but the money is for personal share. Okay, Senate, House of Rep, everybody, you know, they go ahead and begin to share this money. And nobody pays attention to what is really on ground. So when you look at it, the whole reason why there is ever leadership is all fulfilled. Is not fulfilled. So if the man says he feels very strongly that Nigeria is dead, do you blame him? Do you blame him? You know, he has an opinion. That is his opinion. But what do you see about Nigeria? First and foremost, that you must know is that this country belongs to every one of us. 
those in leadership may potentially not want us to move forward or do anything as they as they, they you know they monopolize the leadership they hold on to it and they detect what happens you know even though we know that they are not sincere they are not honest they, they are not ready to make any any tangible change we know however they are not even ready to ensure that there is transparency there is you know and the country changes all they are doing you know is for themselves and these are some of the terrible things currently going on terrible things and after that, they want to replicate their very own self, knowing fully well that they have failed. In fact, the whole of Buhari's administration, nothing was done. If we had to stand still, it would have been better. We retrogressed as a nation. Well, there is no real progress. In fact, insecurity became heightened. So what are you telling me with regards to, you know, security of this nation? Look at the Bokos. They now have, you know, they now have real say and be walking around, you know, flaunting themselves as if, you know, they, they, are, they, are, they have uh, something to present to the nation. Why? Failed leadership. I say it again, why? Failed leadership. No leadership particularly giving direction to the affairs of the country. Then if anybody speaks, they intimidate the person. The likes of Unan de Kanu, Sondek Boho, is all a product of intimidation. You speak, then you get intimidated. As soon as you speak, ah, uh, no, you are, you are not a target. You hate them, so they, I mean, and they want to come at you, and they begin to do everything humanly speaking possible to ensure that um, you are, you are held down. So this is what they do. This is what they do. The nation, the whole of the nation, is in disarray. Okay, when, when you, when you have no leadership, then everything goes out of course. Then this begin to happen anyhow, haphazardly. And however way you see it, you go ahead with it. So if you look at it, you, you know that Nigeria, we need, as a nation, the nation itself is crying. The nation itself is crying, is asking, help, I need help, help me. That's what the nation is shouting for. The nation itself is shouting and asking for that. But is he getting it? Or how are we going to get that? How are we going to get that sufficient supply of help? to ensure that uh, we come out of the current predicament. You know, the whole things that are going on in this country clearly shows to us that there are people who could potentially, you know, know, know what to do, but don't want to do anything about it. Okay, because of personal reasons or whatever it is. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Bye for now.